Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper C. Here we're looking at question 5 uh, from the paper. It looks like we're going to do some factor theorem here. So use factor theorem and division to factorise f of x completely. OK, so I think what the question is going to look for us to do is find a value of x that we can plug into this equation here such that it will give us a 0. That's what the factor theorem is and if it gives us a 0 then that means that x minus that number would be a root of the equation. Uh, I could do a bit of trial and error here, or what I could do is I could use my calculator to help me start this question off. Press the menu button and go down to option A, then click on the polynomial mode, so select number 2. It's a cubic here, so click the number 3, and then enter in the values into your calculator on the coefficients. So 2, then press enter, minus 1, and then press enter, minus 13, press enter, and minus 6, press enter. Press the equals button again, and you get your first solution. So I know that f, uh, so x of 3 is a solution to this equation here. So this has started me off. f of 3, we'll just check it, 2 times 3 cubed minus uh, 3 squared minus 13 lots of 3 minus 6. Plug that into your calculator and I'm sure it will give you a 0. OK, so what we can do from here is therefore we can then divide f of x by x minus 3. Therefore, x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. So now it's looking for us also to use polynomial division. So the polynomial division step is going to come next. We're going to divide x minus 3 through this uh, polynomial here. So polynomial division. And the way you can do this is the long way of doing it, the long uh, the uh, algebraic division way. Or what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a quick way and I'm going to use the box method. So uh, I'm going to have an x minus 3 down the side. And I'm going to recall that I need this as a polynomial to fit in all the cells in my square. So uh, the first thing I need to get out of this um, division here is a 2x cubed. So 2x cubed is going to go here. So the first thing that I need inside my bracket is going to be a, a 2x squared. So 2x squared. But then if you can see here that when I expand the brackets, I'm also going to get a minus 6x squared. So to cancel that out, what I only want is I want a minus x squared. So I'm going to need to therefore add back on 5x squared. And the only way I can do this is if I add on 5x in this position here inside the bracket. But obviously when I do that as well, I'm going to get a minus 15x uh, if I expand my brackets out here. I don't want a minus 15x, I want a minus 13x. So I'm therefore going to have to add back on two lots of x to make that balance out. And the way I can do that is something times x will give me 2x, that needs to be a 2. So I need a 2 at the end of my bracket when I have factorised it. And let's just check the final number works. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Great. So I've got all the values uh, in my expansion of f of x when I expand this expression here. What I'm going to look to do next is now just simply factorise the right-hand side of this term here. That's going to be 2x and an x. Uh, I'm probably going to need to add 2 here to make 4x and then add 1 here to make an x. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is it factorised completely. Now I can just double check this on my calculator by continuing to press that equals button. Press it again and I get minus a half. That corresponds to what I've got here. Perfect. Press equals again and I get x equals minus 2, which is exactly what I'd expect to get there. Perfect. What a great question. Six marks for that.